John Denver. <laughs> okay. Yes, you got all of that one, Bill. Boy, you sure did. What a great way to start a Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. The day the time forgot. Yeah. How did that go again? <laughs> I used to know virtually every John Denver song. I didn't play them well, but I did play them. They were facsimiles. That's how that's how my cover tunes are always have always been. They're mere facsimiles of the original. But that's all right, you know. I could say, well, it's just my version, you know. It's my interpretation. You know, it's because I'm limited by how well I can play, and so it, you know. Well, this is it. This is oh, I wanted to show you. Special totemic items tonight. Special. I'm using, I'm pulling out all the stops. I'm using all the good uh, booga booga I can generate. Oops, sorry. So, to compensate for deficits in other aspects of life, you know. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to the treehouse. It's another one of those zany evenings. Joe and Cat are in the house. Rick Lewis is here. Cool, man. Cool. I'm a woman, 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 I'
that's the sun in the windows, ladies and gentlemen. It's kind of a summertime song. I know it's not summertime anymore, but uh, it's one of the pain songs, so I had to play it. <laughs> wanted to start it out with that. Kind of set the tone. <clears throat> it's going to be a painful evening. That's all I can tell you. That's right. Let's start early. Finish late. That's what we do. That's what we do here in the treehouse, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, number 63. That number sounds familiar. Oh, that's the same age as me. Cam and Pete! Hmm. Now, I was going to try and figure out, for you early birds, I was going to try and figure out how old was my grandfather in November of 1963. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to do that. Sorry. Maybe somebody out there <coughs> who knows the details can fill us in. Thanks, Ma. In the meantime, thanks, Ma. Hmm. That was my dad's dad, Thomas Henry Davy. Chimitra. Over there in American Falls, as it was, we called it Am Falls. Am Falls. Am. That's right, friends. Rick Lewis, I saw you. I saw you hanging out there in the back. Yeah. How are you doing? I hope you're fully recovered. I hope you are completely and fully recovered. About that Gary Schulstad down there in uh, Portland, Oregon. We don't see him much, but, you know. Got a hail and hearty. Got a hail and... I think Kat and Joe and Kat are in the house. Always lovely. Throwing that up. Mm. All the way from Alabama. Now Holly Trout Cooper's here. And I think she's in... Are you in Ohio? I don't know. Am I forgetting? Am I forgetting that? I think you're in Ohio. And uh, Katrina's in Pennsylvania, I believe. Rick Lewis is over there in the Meadow. That's right. Pauline Jones is somewhere in Cali. Aren't you in California, Pauline? Somewhere down there in California. Monica Holverstadt's right here in the Jet City. Janine Boggs over there in, uh, on Whidbey Island. Aaron Ochoa. Aaron, where do you live? I'm not sure I know that. I'm not sure I have that answer. Monica Holverstadt, though. Welcome. Welcome. Look where we are. Yeah, Monica, you're here just in time for the Lori Trout uh, Honorarium from the Country Music Hall of Fame, Nashville, Tennessee. Lori Trout. Whether she's here or not, we salute her. <laughs> Ew. Yeah. A little extra, a little extra lubrication in it right before it. <laughs> Janine Boggs. Janine's in the house. Janine. Janine Boggs. Designated chaser. And more. And more. Val Sanford. Val Sanford down there in Portland. Hmm. Right kind of deal. Cindy Snyder? Where's Cindy? Has anybody seen Cindy? Is she hanging out in the back? Yeah. Uh-oh. I hope Cindy's here. Yes. She's uh, an inspiration. An inspiration. She is. Out there at the Lame Cat Ranch. Out there on... Uh, where you got to take the, uh, in order to get to, uh, we salute you out there at the Lame Cat Ranch, Holly and Kim. Holly Tubb Kim Nelson. That's right. Then there's that Pauline Jones, Aaron Ochoa combination. Yes. No sluggos. Another week with no sluggos, thanks to, we've got our safeguard, we got our uh, security. And Harmony Amongst the Mugs, i got to tell you, Harmony Amongst the Mugs. Let me just say one other thing before I get back into that. I wanted to thank my cousin, Janine Boggs, who I mentioned earlier, our designated, ch our designated chaser. She sent me a nice gift. Got a nice surprise in the mail from my cousin Janine. Now, this is a very special item. It's a special keychain, right? Or key ring, but it's got this snap on it. And if you unsnap the snap, you pull out a copper thumb pick. Or it's copper or brass or something. And what does it say on it? I agree. Thank you, Janine. It was wonderful. Wonderful to receive this surprise in the mail. Nice little note with it saying that she actually enjoys Tuesdays. <clears throat> You know, until about 6.45, then things start to get a little dicey. And then, you know, later on, 
they recover nicely, right? That's kind of the usual thing. I think there's a crow stuck in the where the candle was over. It's the hand, ladies and gentlemen. The hand is the hand is the hand is coming on in. The hand is really working it. The hand is learning how this whole system works. Don't try to run off. Don't try to run off. Damn. I think yeah, the hand ought to ought to start a line of uh, scents, to, starting with the uh, stuff that she puts on herself every week. <laughs> okay. Moving on to other topics. Uh, let's start a paragraph that makes sense, Bill. Yeah, what do we got? Let me see. We got uh, we got Kim Nelson. No, Holly Tuttle. Okay. Well, we got Cindy Snyder is in the house. Cindy, you are. Oh, there's Cindy. Cool. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Bill Willem is in the house. Tim and Demetra are in the house. Janine Boggs is in the house. Annie and Robert, Joseph Webb, Joe and Cat are both in the house. Uh, Katrina's in the house. Mark Kenny's in the house. Monica Holverstadt's in the house. Rick Lewis, Rochelle Hamill, Pauline Jones, and Aaron Ochoa. You know, this is the all-star cast. It's yeah, Rick Lewis. Tuesday, a Tuesday night without Bill and Diane is like orange juice without Anita Bryant. Okay, we'll have to discuss this more later. Uh, snowflakes in tonight's forecast in the Methow on the Methow Valley floor. Really, on the valley floor? I know it was down this morning when I went for my walk. It was like thirty-eight degrees here. So yeah, I bet it was chilly over there. Wow, snowflakes in October. I'm supposed to be coming over there in a couple of weeks. That's right. I'm going to be swinging through the meadow. Seeing some old friends and having some fun. Seeing some old friends. Okay, well, you know. Let's see, speaking of old friends, there's an old friend. It's a song I wrote uh, back in the probably 1984 area. It's on, uh, it's on Phobia Ropes. My sister actually sings harmony with me on it, just like old times. Yeah, just like when we were kids. This is called Mornings. This boy's American dream isn't all it's cracked up to be. But sitting here talking to you isn't wasting my time. And maybe the arts and the living and not in all these pictures and rhymes. Cat, she's rolling around on the furniture. You tell me I should write a song just for her. And the water's boiling for the coffee to brew. The ring on your finger flashes as I hand it to you. Sunlight beginning to play 
I feel myself sink in the chair and I don't know what to say. Sorry about that. Usually, the finger-picking songs are working pretty good. So, we now have more information. Well, I'll do that again here coming up and try and do a better job of it. I like the picking part on that. I played it fine about an hour and a half ago. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Something's come loose somewhere. Something's come loose. The fan is coming. It's flying. And things are going to be... No, it's the hand creeping ever so stealthily as if we wouldn't notice. Like it, she could sneak and then try to get away. No way. No way, kiddo. Oh. Did some... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, you know, I'm so glad Diane is here to remind me about... You know, the little things, the little touches. I wanted to also show you. I don't think I ever showed this to you. Cindy Snyder sent this card to Diane and me like last spring. And it's been sitting here on, and I just found it again. And it was like, wow, I don't think I ever showed that to people. Yeah. Thanks, Cindy. And then drop it on the floor. Oh, I may never get up again. It is... Uh, it is a uh, and this one here, Mr. Dave Wildhuizen from Colorado sent that to me. Yeah, it was nice to hear from Dave. I'm back in contact with that guy. That's right. Thanks to Val Sanford down there in Portland. I salute you, Val Sanford. Ah, for making that happen. Yes. Emma Vernon's in the house? No way. Dana Nichols is Danny, Dana Nichols is in the house. Wow, welcome Dana. Cindy Clark is here, and Theo. Theo. Theo's here. Yeah, these people. Ah, uh, yeah, Theo. Theo. I know I owe you a phone call, sir. I've been a little, uh, I've been a little late up. So I'm a little slow on the uptake and some kinds of things. So sorry about that. <laughs> Sanctuary prowlers and brass Jesus at the window, he's captured in glass I'm lacing up my sneakers, packing up my things Gotta hit the road before the doorbell rings God loves civil disobedience God lands a helping hand He's there with my ear when the time comes to take a stand He's a boy but a crazy land Well, I tried to write my senator, tried to write the press But no one seems to listen until you make a mess I contemplated terrorism through that way I don't want to hurt nobody, now I just want my say God loves civil disobedience God had some trouble too He's dead in my ear when I can't think of nothing to do He said, boy, I got a job for you It's a burning bush, it's a burning tree Ralph is standing there and he's looking at me Says, I'll write it down if you'll take it to town We got a mission, we got permission yeah. Well, I never burned a building, I don't sink ships I got a can of spray paint and a good set of lips I shout from the rooftops, paint on them too So when the bombers fly over, they know who to screw Take a stand. He's a boy, but the crazy land you got here, you call it America. Hey, hey, hey! God 
Disophlidians. Yes. Yes, friends. Swivel this Disophlidians. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Ah, yeah. Well, there you go. You notice I'm wearing my jam jams. I mean, yeah, this, this shirt is so comfortable and so soft. It's so soft that it makes me feel like I'm wearing jammies. Why do men's pajama tops have a, have a, have a breast pocket in them? What is that? What's that for? You know? Maybe earplugs or some kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know how any of this works. I'm just, I just hang out in the back and sing, and you, people talk amongst themselves, and you know, life goes on. Well, suddenly it's Wednesday. You know, I don't know how it works. I don't know. I don't really. Oh my goodness. So yeah. So fine. So yeah. Be that way. Mm hmm. Right. I wanted to say to my friend Tim Schwandler, I, uh, I attempted only six houses earlier this evening. Decided on the sun in the windows instead. Same general kind of vibe, a completely different subject matter, but, uh, you know, could not any, come, any, come within, you, you know, any, any kind of decency uh, with uh, only six houses. Now, judging by how well mornings went in performance after... Being able to have played it fine, I probably could have done only six houses and knocked it out of the park. I don't know. I don't know. These these things, all of these, I don't. It, it's moment to moment, people. It's moment to moment. But gosh, it's exciting. Golly. Yeah. Stay tuned for uh, the latest updates. Uh, who knows where it will go next? You know. Who knoweth where it will goeth? <laughs> But try some more finger picking, Bill. Yeah, that could be fun. Oh boy. I had to retune, that's why I stopped. You know, there's a tuner over here, Bill. I see the cloud of a turbulent day I see a dark figure turning away I see the water that yields to a stone I see with eyes that have seen to your bones And I see the ashes that fall to a tray I watch the hairs that have fallen to gray I hold the image of art in my mind I see the years that have fallen behind Maybe it's over Maybe it's all been the meat of a dream Maybe it's over Maybe my hands cannot claim what I have seen I see a red door that beckons me in 
I see a tablet that calls me to win I see the keys where I've walked into rhyme I see a spark but only part of the time And I see a bridge between islands of sky I see a woman who asks me to try I watch the winter that's grown on my skin I see the light going yellow and thin And thin Maybe it's over Maybe it's all been the means of a dream Maybe it's over Maybe my hands cannot claim what I've seen I feel a power that's lofty and whole I watch as uncertainty clings to my soul Maybe I'll see all my images through Maybe I'll come again broken to you To you now Maybe it's over Maybe it's all been the means of a dream Maybe it's over Maybe my hands cannot claim what I've seen Maybe it's over Maybe it's all been the means of a dream Maybe it's over Yeah, yeah, well, there you go. There you go, people. There you go. Goodness. Fingers don't fail me now. It's the hand. The hand is back, ladies and gentlemen, the hand. Hello, hand. You're being subtle. What are you? Subtle, you come in, you come in all hot and frothy, and then you get subtle. I can't understand it, I guess. What does the intro to Bob's drop? Thank you, Bill Woolham. These songs from the deep past get to me. Mark Kenny, I like your cadence on Meat of a Dream. And this time tonight, sparse and light. Yeah, you mean, yeah. Okay. I won't make any comment. Tim Schwandler. Pockets and PJs are for cigarettes. Every man in the 60s smoked in their PJs. Yeah, I remember that. I remember every Christmas, my grandfather, my my dad, and his father-in-law would exchange a bottle of booze and a carton of cigarettes. That was their Christmas present to each other. Yeah. Oh. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Probably wondering what's happening now. <laughs> well, it's poetry break time! Poetry break! Poetry break! Oh, not to a moment too soon. Poetry break, poetry, and the poetry... Going for the stump. Here it comes. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, yeah, well, you know. What are you going to do? Ah. Hello, students. Mm -hmm. I, in fact, am the student. Oh, wait. I need to put... I want to put Janine's thing up here in a place of honor. Up here in the family section. I don't want to cover my mom's face there. But there you go. I'm sure my mom would appreciate that. Oof! Goodness gracious. Okay. Challenging week. Uh, Bill Willem, you will probably be chagrined, but overall okay with the fact that tomorrow I'm getting the MRI. Tomorrow. Yeah. 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 Only about a month later than I would have liked it. Yeah, I've been trying to figure. We've been trying to figure out what's wrong with me. So that I can get some kind of therapeutic uh, uh, intervention. 
But they, no, none of the therapists want to work on me until they figure out what's wrong. So tomorrow, you know, I've had the CT scan. I've had the ultrasound. I've had the x-ray. Been examined by two or three different docs. And uh, several of them said, you know what? You really need to need that MRI of that lumbar spine. And that's what you really need to be doing, about." It was kind of a Steve Byquist kind of a thing. And uh, so finally tomorrow I'm getting it. I haven't slept well since mid-August. Oh! W.S. Merwin, ladies and gentlemen. Pick a challenging poet on a challenging night, Bill. Okay, that's what I'll do. Yeah, that's kind of like my finger picking tonight. It's, you know. But uh, why is W.S. Merwin challenging? Well... It's not that complicated, but W.S. Merwin does not use punctuation of any kind. Now, I'm a believer in punctuation. You know, I, I believe in the functionality of it, uh, but uh, Merwin has his own way of walking, his own way of talking. And one of the ways he does it is without punctuation. And it's amazing how well it works without punctuation. But it's kind of, it kind of makes you kind of go, oh, wait a minute, where, where am I? You know, you got to practice it a little bit. So I've practiced these, you know, but then I practiced those songs too, and we saw how that went. So this is from, I'm not sure if this was his last book or not, The Moon Before Morning. This is the book that came out after, uh, what was it called? Shadow, uh, yeah, Shadow of Sirius, which uh, is the book for which he won his second Pulitzer Prize in poetry. Second. He had won one earlier in his career also. W.S. Merwin, Mr. No Punctuation, here we go. This is called Homecoming. It's the first poem in the book. Thought I'd start out right at, the, right at the top. We're just gonna read this many. No, I'm just kidding. I got five or six here. Homecoming, they're fairly short. Once only when the summer was nearly over and my own hair had been white as the day's clouds for more years than I was counting. I looked across the garden at evening. Paula was still weeding around flowers that open after dark. And I looked up to the clear sky and saw the new moon. And at that moment from behind me a band of dark birds and then another after it flying in silence, long curving wings hardly moving, the plovers just in from the sea, and the far flight clear from Alaska, half their weight gone to get them home, but home now arriving without a sound as it rose to meet them. That's how W.S. Merwin works. Then he'll throw something like this at you. By the front door. Rain through the morning, and in the long pool, a toad singing, happiness old as water. Yeah, baby. The next one's called Dew Light. Dew Light. Now in the blessed days of more and less, when the news about time is that each day there is less of it, I know none of that as I walk out through the early garden, only the day and I are here, with no before or after, and the dew looks up without a number or a present age. That one's worth reading again. Dew light, dew light, dew. I should just say dew. I don't know why I try to do dew. That's why I say Wednesday in February and things like that. It's a sickness. Do you light? Now in the blessed days of more and less, when the news about time is that each day there is less of it, I know none of that. As I walk out through the early garden, only the day and I are here with no before or after, and the dew looks up without a number or a present age. That's a geezer who's got his priorities straight, right? Theft of Morning, this is called. Theft of Morning. Early morning in cloud light, 
to the sound of the last of the rain at daybreak dripping from the tips of the fronds into the summer day, I watch palm flowers open, pink coral in mid-air, among pleated cloud green fans, as I sit for a while after breakfast, reading a few pages, with a shadowing sense that I am stealing the moment from something else that I ought to be doing, so the pleasure of stealing is part of it. Theft of morning. Let's go again. Early morning in cloud light, to the sound of the last of the rain at daybreak dripping from the tips of the fronds into the summer day, I watch palm flowers open, pink coral in midair, among pleated cloud green fans, as I sit for a while after breakfast, reading a few pages with a shadowing sense that I am stealing the moment from something else that I ought to be doing. So the pleasure of stealing is part of it. Ah, I just love that. Just love that. I don't get it, but I sure do love it. And see, you start to fall into a cadence without the punctuation. Sometimes he throws a little something at you. You know, it'll be like in the middle of a line, you feel like he's starting a new thought, and you're kind of like... But still. It, it causes you... What does it do? No punctuation. What does it do? Well, it causes you to pay a different kind of attention, right? And so maybe that's part of his, uh, his master plan to draw you in a little further by not giving you those little signposts to go by to make it easier for you. Yeah. This one's a little political. This is called Convenience. Convenience. We were not made in its image. But from the beginning we believed in it, not for the pure appeasement of hunger, but for its availability. It could command our devotion beyond question and without our consent, and by whatever name we have called it, in its name love has been set aside, unmeasured time has been devoted to it, forests have been erased and rivers poisoned, and truth has been relegated for it, wars have been sanctified by it. We believe that we have a right to it, even though it belongs to no one. We carry a way back to it everywhere. We are sure that it is saving something. We consider it our personal savior. All we have to pay for it is ourselves. Shall I read that one again? Convenience, it's called. Convenience. We were not made in its image. But from the beginning we believed in it, not for the pure appeasement of hunger, but for its availability. It could command our devotion beyond question and without our consent, and by whatever name we have called it, in its name love has been set aside. Unmeasured time has been devoted to it, forests have been erased and rivers poisoned, and truth has been relegated for it. Wars have been sanctified by it. We believe that we have a right to it, even though it belongs to no one. We carry a way back to it everywhere. We are sure that it is saving something. We consider it our personal savior. All we have to pay for it is ourselves. Two more. This is called The Wonder of the Imperfect. Nothing that I do is finished, so I keep returning to it, lured by the notion that I long to see the whole of it at last, completed and estranged from me. But no, the unfinished is what I return to as it leads me on. I am made whole by what has just escaped me, as it always does. I am made of incompleteness. The words are not there in words. O oh, gossamer, gossamer, breath, moment, daylight, life, untouchable, by no name, with no beginning. What do we think we recognize? 
wonder of the imperfect. You got to check this guy out, you know, because it's a, he's, he gets these swirls going, you know. It's like the language swirls. I've, been, I've just been reading some of the short ones. Yeah. Think about, you know, a page and a half of no punctuation. But his line breaks, you know. You got the line breaks, so you can work with that. That's your starting point. That's your point of entry, see? So I will end with this one. It's called How It Happens. The sky said, I am watching to see what you can make out of nothing. I was looking up and I said, I thought you were supposed to be doing that. The sky said, many are clinging to that. I am giving you a chance. I was looking up and I said, I am the only chance I have. Then the sky did not answer. And here we are, with our names for the days, the vast days that do not listen to us. Yeah. You know, I, I got a little chill on that one. One more time. How it happens. The sky... How it happens. The sky said, I am watching to see what you can make out of nothing. I was looking up and I said, I thought you were supposed to be doing that. The sky said, many are clinging to that. I am giving you a chance. I was looking up and I said, I am the only chance I have. Then the sky did not answer. And here we are with our names for the days, the vast days that do not listen to us. I'm telling you. Whew. W.S. Merwin. Yeah. Gone but not forgotten. Hey, and guess which publishing house published it? <laughs> Copper Canyon Press, right up there in Port Townsend. Yeah, it's another one of their... Pulitzer Prize winning poets. I don't know how they did that. How do they do that? Uh, okay, people. Well, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. I watched a very inspiring movie. I'd seen it before. Diane and I watched it together uh, back, you know, several years ago, I think. It's called Waiting for My Real Life to Begin. It's Colin Hay. Remember Colin Hay? Probably a lot of you know who Colin Hay is. But it's on YouTube now. So you can look up Colin Hay, Waiting for My Real Life. And you can find it. And it's really worth watching, man. It's the story of a guy who used to be a superstar and now is living the dream. Now is living the dream. Colin Hay from Men at Work. Yeah, you remember Men at Work. He was the one with the voice. He still is the one with the voice. Diane and I saw him oh, three or four years ago um, at the UW, on the UW campus, and uh, it was magical. Just him and his guitar. You know, kind of like this kind of thing. This is kind of same kind of setup, same kind of deal. Only he was, you know, his fingers worked a lot, a little better than mine. Oh, what are you going to do? Old men are shadows of the way things should have been. On my back porch we gather to review the where's and when's. We were not bred for idle time, yet we don't feel ill at ease. Because we can dance around the laughing eyes of the ones we still seem to please. Yeah, we're deep in the third act Close to the fire and the coal sack Like old Abednego and Shadrach Or the moths on the sill It means we still got the climax And all the stuff that happens after that Exchange the hot for the cold facts Just like we probably will Old men are shadows Of the dreams that made them young our children climb the ladders while we brace the bottom rungs. It's a long day mending fences, but it pays well in the end. Cause we 
can dance around the laughing eyes in the arms of our best friend. Yeah, we're deep in the third act, close to the fire and the coal sack, like old Abednego and Shadrach, or the moths on the sill. It means we still got the climax, and all the stuff that happens after that. Exchange the hot for the cold facts, just like we probably will. We were made fools by money, sold the comfort comes with time. We've been lied to by a system that was built on other crimes. We were fooled by the mirror when it made us look so trim and young. All but love's never made a fool of us other than a willing one. Old men are shadows of the way things should have been. On my back porch we gather to review the where's and when's. It's a long day mending fences, but it pays well in the end. Cause we can dance around the laughing eyes in the arms of our best friend. Yeah, we're deep in the third act, close to the fire and the coal sack, like old Abednego and Shadrach, or the moths on the sill. It means we still got the climax. All the stuff that happens after that Exchange the hot for the cold facts Just like we probably will Yeah, we're deep in the third act Close to the fire and the coal sack Like old Abednego and Shadrach Or the moths on the sill It means we still got the climax And all the stuff that happens after that Exchange the hot for the cold facts like we probably will exchange the hot for the cold just like we probably will there you go there you go old married man that's called hey there kids Let's gather around the ICU two TVs that we've got some birthdays to talk about. That's right, friends. Not many. Not many. Got some holes in the calendar. Yeah, I can't help it. I can't help it, people. I'm just going with the information I can glean from Homeland Security, you know. Other kind of black ops kind of situations that I am uh, happen to be connected to uh, through some uh, personal... Uh, you know, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Sorry. Sorry. Is this even the right one? Yeah, this is right. Starting right here today, this very day, October the 12th, 2021. We got some birthdays happening right now. Sherry Bysager Jarvie, number one. Sherry Bysager from the old neighborhood. She's from the old neighborhood. Come on. She is celebrating her birthday today. Happy birthday to Sherry. Also, Linda Allen, uh, who's been a major force in the Northwest music scene a lot longer than I have. And man, she is going to town. She is one of the best. And uh, I got to sing on one of her albums way back in the 90s called Washington Notebook. I did a song called Termination Wins. I believe that may be the only time that my voice is on Spotify is that song, Termination Wins, which Linda Allen wrote the words for. And I just came up with the uh, simple little melody for it. So Linda Allen, happy birthday today. Also, Mark Fernald, part of the great Fernald dynasty, older brother of uh, Crazy Dave Fernald. Mark Fernald, happy birthday today. And Nelson Wright, also. A local singer, songwriter, guitarist uh, extraordinaire. Uh, you know, local celebrity guy. Nelson, happy birthday today. Tomorrow, Amanda Jackson Mott is having her birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday, Amanda. Thursday, Christy Nicole is having her birthday. Happy birthday on Thursday, Christy. Friday, Friday, Mr. Dell Adams. My compadre from my first student days, Dell Adams, is having his birthday on Friday. Happy birthday, uh, Dell. Also, Peter Spencer, uh, another great musician, uh, you know, from everywhere. Peter Spencer is having his birthday on Friday, as is Liz Armour Roth. It's having her birthday. Happy birthday, Liz, on Friday. Saturday? Don't know what happened. Nobody got born on Saturday. Sunday? Don't know. That's Saturday the 16th, Sunday the 17th. And you know, somebody, i got to create a master calendar. People, you need to send me these birthdays if you know of them. 
Anyway, I got nothing. Monday, though. Monday, October the 18th. The big, the big sweep of the big October birthdays begins with the birthday of Mr. Thomas Jeffrey Cope. Mr. T.J. Cope is turning, I believe he's got, turning the big 3-0 on Monday. T.J. Cope, uh, guitarist extraordinary, musical savant. It just He's prodigious. Prodigious. He's my nephew. T.J. Cope is uh, having a birthday on Monday the 18th, as is... One of uh, the Westminster Basement people, Colette Marie, is having her birthday on Monday as well. Happy birthday, Colette. Coming up, Pam Bolding of Magical Strings is having her birthday on Monday the 18th. Happy birthday, Pam. She is a force, a musical force to be re reckoned with and has been for many decades. Also, Kathy Jones having a birthday on Monday. Happy birthday to Kathy Jones. And we're going to be back on Tuesday the 19th, so we'll, we'll do more when we come back next Tuesday. But after that, remember, Tuesday the 26th of October... No treehouse that night. No, nope. Billy's taking a taking a Tuesday off. Diane and I are going to be elsewhere for that evening. That's right, my friend. So Colin Hay, great story. You know the rise, the 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 supposed fall, then the the slow coming back, finding himself. I don't know. I really found that movie inspiring in many ways. So you gotta check it out. <laughs> There's a tuner over here, though. Okay. All right. All righty, folks. I'm going to try one more finger picker. If this don't work, I'm going to go out with a, with a fizzle instead of a bang. patience today. Song I wrote for Diane. Under the glittering pins of the night sky Walking alone on a path we have memorized They say getting older is not for the meek We can testify Fooled into thinking our demons would retreat they're still standing by Whatever's left of my time I will give to you Promises made in the past never rang so true Maybe our way will be testing and cold, maybe heavenly. One of us left with just memories to hold, will you hold me? You will hold me. Under the visiting shade of the rising moon Breeze and a wind chime singing a sad tune Silvery cloud like a glimpse of your hair This is lyrical 
strands of our love spreading out on the night air like a miracle. Like a miracle Under the glittering pins of the night sky There you go, folks. There you go. There you go. Number 63 in the books. Sorry, it was a little ragtag there. Yeah, I'm a little ragtag here. You're probably a little ragtag out there. At least we're ragtagging together, huh? That's, I think, the uh, the thing that has been most sustaining for me is just the sense that uh, we're here as a group, sharing the experience, however, however wobbly that guy might be. At least he's hanging in there. He's coming back. Yeah, we'll do it again next week. We'll do it about 167 hours from now. In fact, tell a friend. Yeah. Throw a tip into the PayPal or the Venmo if you think of it. If you don't, no, no worries, no pressure, no nothing. Just uh, have a good week, and we will see you on Tuesday, the 19th of October, 7 p.m., same bad time, same bad channel. Thank you. Good night.